Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving an equation with a parameter. They're also called parametric equations. So a is a given number and we're going to be solving for values of x and the values of x are going to be in terms of a. But we need to consider a couple of things here that's what makes these equations interesting in my opinion because for different values of a we get different solutions and in some cases we do not get solutions. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now the first thing I'd like to do here is isolate the radical. So let me go ahead and do that. If you isolate the square root of x minus 1 on the left hand side this is what you get and then after this I'm going to square both sides but I need to consider a couple things here obviously. In order for this to be well defined x needs to be less than or equal to 1 because x minus 1 needs to be non-negative and also we have that x needs to be less than or equal to a because a minus x needs to be non-negative as well. So these conditions are going to be important and we're going to be checking this one especially the second one is super important because it gives us a condition that's in terms of a and we don't even know what a values are or even the x values are. So what are we supposed to do? Having said this I'm going to go ahead and square both sides and I should be getting something nicer here hopefully. So this should be x minus 1 and the right hand side is a squared minus 2ax plus x squared. Let's go ahead and turn this into a full quadratic equation. x squared minus the quantity 2a plus 1 times x and then I'll bring the negative 1 over and I'll get a squared plus 1 and the whole thing is equal to 0. This is a quadratic which we can solve by using the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, which is 2a plus 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 2a plus 1 quantity squared, minus 4ac, which is 4 times the quantity a squared plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify that. If you distribute or expand, you're going to be getting something like 2a plus 1 plus minus the square root of, okay, 2a plus 1 quantity squared is 4a squared plus 4a plus 1. And then if you subtract from it 4a squared minus 4, you're going to get something simpler. Obviously here we have that the 4a squared cancels out and we end up with something like this. x is equal to 2a plus 1 plus minus, I have two solutions, the square root of 4a minus 3 all over 2. Now, here's one thing to keep in mind. At the beginning, remember, we were checking the non-negativity of both sides, and we said that x needs to be less than or equal to a. Remember that condition? So that condition needs to be satisfied in order for that condition to work. We're just going to make sure that this x value, which is this expression here, needs to be less than or equal to a. But we have two possible values for x, so let's go ahead and consider each one separately. I'm going to start with the plus sign. So let's go ahead and do this 2a plus 1 plus the square root of 4a minus 3 all over 2 is less than or equal to a. At this point, I also have to say that the expression under the radical 4a minus 3 also needs to be greater than or equal to 0, which means a needs to be greater than or equal to 3 fourths. Okay, cool. So we have a lot of conditions that we have to take care of as we go. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 here and simplify this expression as much as we can. And this is going to give us something nice. Okay, now notice that here the 2a cancels out, right? So you can go ahead and cross them out and we're going to, we're going to end up with something like this. What is this supposed to mean? 1 plus a radical expression is less than or equal to 0. But think about it. This is impossible because this is definitely, the expression on the left hand side is definitely positive, so this is, this is not going to work. So we don't really get any solutions from here, unfortunately. So what we have to do is, we have to consider the other version, because as you know, this quadratic equation has two solutions, and we haven't checked the second one yet. And hopefully this is going to get give us something nice. Okay, again, we have this condition that our x value needs to be less than or equal to a, and let's see what this gives us. Cross multiply again, similar approach, and this is going to give us 2a, and obviously one more time I can do the same thing, cross out the 2a, and we should be getting something nicer. Now if you put the radical on the right hand side and then write it on the left hand side, kind of like move that around a little bit, 
you should be getting something like this. Okay, what is that supposed to mean? First of all, we have a radical. We said that, okay, A needs to be greater or equal to 3 fourths. Yep, that's, that needs to be satisfied. But not only that, we can square both sides because we have non-negative expressions. So this should give us 4A minus 3 is greater than or equal to 1. Great. Add 1, I mean add 3 to both sides and then divide by 4. So this should give you A is greater than or equal to 1. But think about it. In order for our x value to be less than or equal to A, which needs to be satisfied, A needs to be greater than or equal to 1. Otherwise, we don't have a solution. Remember the first case? We did not get a solution because... A was not a good value. But think about these two values. Like we, we need that A is greater than or equal to 3 fourths and A is greater than or equal to 1. But this already covers that, so we don't really need to worry about it once we have that A is greater than or equal to 1. Now, what is this supposed to mean? Well, it just means that we can now write the solution set. So since this is an equation with a parameter, we have to be very careful and write our equation or I should say solution, case by case. Okay, so here's the cases. If A is greater than or equal to one, then we have that X is equal to, remember the X value that we found from the quadratic equation, X is equal to 2A plus one minus the square root of 4A minus three all over 2A. So this is gonna be my X value if a is greater than or equal to 1. What happens otherwise? Which means if A is less than 1, then unfortunately we have no solutions. All right? So that basically brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow at the same time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.